Hello guys, so Pulse Chain is trading again below sacrifice rate. What does that mean? I want to show you exactly what that means and I want to show you some numbers as well of what that means, right? Let's take a look at the prices right now. You see we're here 0. Uh, 0.000972, right? Uh, but the good thing is we have lots of Pulse burned, 134 Pulse burned. Pulse X keeps tagging along with a buy and burn mechanism. So it's burning every, every single day. But the thing that I want to show you is... If you take a look at Pulse Chain on Dex screener right now, what Pulse Chain is one of the uh, largest smart contract platforms out there. We're gonna see right now. I think it's ranked eighth. Now we have dipped a great deal from where we were at one point. We were the second largest blockchain. Uh, yeah, uh, at one point we flipped uh, Binance Smart Chain. Arbitrum has improved. It's it's gone up there. So we have twenty nine million, uh, twenty nine point nine million twenty four hour trading volume. Now this can flip at any minute. If the price of, of, of PALS uh, doubles, right, which I think most of us will agree that it's very doable, that would mean that this will most likely increase significantly to maybe, maybe not exactly double, but maybe around 50 million or so. And then we will flip a lot more chains that, uh, than what we flipped uh, as well. And if we look at the next, so PALS chain is eight, right? And then there's Avalanche and then there's Solana. If we look at Solana. Um, Solana has only 12.6 million dollars worth of transactions but solana is also still one of the largest blockchains out there I want to take a look at the price and the market cap of solana let's take the uh with solana right here the price uh, the market cap is 6.8 billion right and right now if we look at pulse right pulse the market cap is a lot less if we exclude the origin address of course and let's take a look at the market cap for pulse uh, for pulse is 1.45 billion excluding the origin address that tells you that uh, a blockchain that is doing less than half the transactions that Pulse Chain is doing has a 4x valuation on Pulse Chain right now. If we are to exclude origin address, that tells me that there's massive, massive, massive room for growth here. And then, as well as if we also look at the now for this, uh, the, the 12 million is on chain data. If we also look at uh, the, the, the exchange data, Solana has more trading volume on, on centralized exchanges, and that means that it has. Uh, much larger liquidity pools than Pulse Chain right now, meaning it's a lot harder to pump uh, Solana. So Solana is a higher valuation and it's harder to pump. Pulse Chain is a, a lower valuation than Solana and it's much easier to pump because there isn't much available for sale uh, right now. If you take a look at the, the, the volume of Pulse Chain on its own, I think Pulse Chain to die is about uh, $6 million, a little under $6 million. Uh, I, I took a look at, at, uh, at it earlier. So you have, you have Pulse Chain, which to re is doing more transactions, on-chain transactions, more real crypto transactions than Solana, and has a uh, and there's a, and Solana is a 4x premium on Pulse Chain. That tells you that this is dirt cheap right now, in my view. Now, and as what we are starting to see, we're starting to see a lot of building happening on on Pulse Chain as well. A lot of projects launching, a lot of action happening. And the beautiful thing about Pulse Chain is the the fact that we do have a lot of power users uh, in terms of DeFi. The only thing right now, why the only reason why this valuation is here is simply because of, uh, I think, I think, I think, if the price doubles, all of the stuff will, will will double, and we'll see a lot more excitement, a lot of more people jumping on the, uh, onto Pulse Chain and using Pulse Chain, and we do see Binance Smart Chain strong volume two six seven, so it's strong there. Let's see uh, Matic. But all in all, right now, I think that uh, Mathematic 82, I think all the fundamentals are in play for a strong Pulse Chain pump. We could see the price of pump, uh, Pulse Chain pumping at any minute. Now, the strategy, shakeout weekends, my God, it is painful. But I think we weekends are being shaken out. And by the time we have a rally, there will be no one to dump the price anymore. That's that's the thing about crypto, right? You do w w When you have uh, a lot of no price action, when it's boring, which is most of the time, those price doesn't pump every day, right? You can't have 10x today, 10x tomorrow, 100x the next day, 1,000x the next day. No, it doesn't work like that. You have a whole long period of nothing, and then you have uh, a whole. Uh, then you have some price action for a very short period of time. Then you go back to nothing. Then you go price action. Then you go back to nothing. Pullbacks. Then price action. So, if we have a prolonged kind of uh, sideways action, that will cause a lot of people to dump their coins, many at a loss. And it'll shake out all the weekends. Now, it's important to shake out all the weekends because then you don't have resistance when you have, the price is going up. When the price is pumping, everyone who could have sold has sold. And at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's moon mission from there.
So all in all, I think that uh, if you're looking at the numbers, the numbers tell a story that, look, Pulse Chain, in terms of, uh, of blockchain, is one of the most used blockchains. So it will most likely do extraordinarily well over time. However, this uh, shake, this uh, weekend's shakeout is extremely painful. And But hey, look, it is what it is. Now let's take a quick look at Pulse Chain before we go. Uh, let's take a look at Pulse Chain. Pulse Chain has been on an insane rally, insane rally, guys. I mean, I, I, a few days ago, the market cap was sitting at 400,000 and now market cap is sitting at 2.5 million uh, dollars. And this is one of the more active uh, communities, cryptos on Pulse Chain right now. I mean, if you take a look at this, is this is V2. Your volume is 53,000 and then there's more trading on V1 as well. So a lot of people uh, doing a lot of stuff with it. Let's take a quick look at on Pulse Chain. Yeah, I think it has been moving through the ranks because Pulse Chain, I think on the ranks was ranked around, uh, it wasn't on the face, first page of, of Dex, Dex screener when it comes to Pulse Chain projects. But now we see it right here, 24th, ranked 24th. So it has been moving uh, through, through the rankings. And look, uh, the number of holders is growing, the number of uh, people, te Telegram growing, the number of Twitter is growing. And I think that this is a really good tool to onboard people onto Pulse Chain because people like memes and uh, Pulse Chain, Pulse Chip is the the, the, the the premier Pulse Chain meme coin. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next time. Obviously, guys, yeah, remember, obviously, cryptocurrency is super risky. Uh, don't invest more than what you're willing to lose, right? you got to remember the, 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 the good part. I mean, the thing is, crypto comes with the good part and the bad part. So you got to take them both. Uh, I just want to make a quick... Uh, before I go, right, a quick thing that I saw, I saw someone talking about, there's a lot of talk about market cap. And I think it's important for people to get this, uh, to get this. Some people get it. Some people need to, uh, to get this. A lot of people talk that market cap doesn't matter. And I would say that market cap doesn't matter for, for, for Hex. Hex still did 10,000 X. It still pumped really phenomenally, despite the market cap being big, right? Uh, market cap probably doesn't matter for a lot of uh, the Richard Hart uh, ecosystem tokens. But you cannot bring that mentality if you if you start investing in, into altcoins uh, on Pulse Chain. You can't do that. You can't start saying market cap doesn't matter because at that point it starts to matter a great deal, right? Uh, when, when a coin pumps up to the multi 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 billion dollars in valuation, yeah, it gets harder to pump. It's still possible, but it gets a lot harder to pump at that point. So yeah, I do agree. Market cap doesn't market cap is not everything. But don't come with the mentality of market cap doesn't matter is bad. Because when you say market cap doesn't matter, what you're saying is that what really matters is the liquidity pools and the volumes. And all of a sudden, the, the explanations have become extremely complex, right? Uh, the easiest thing is just to say, okay, look, market cap big in 90% of the cases, it matters. Market cap small in 90% of the uh, cases, it matters as well. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you again next time.